there are a whole bunch of policy things that can be done. There's a whole bunch of investment things that can be done. But at root, what we need to do right now is reestablish relationships, confidence, um, and a sense of joy. And I don't mean when I say normalcy, I don't mean going back to a status quo. I mean, a sense that people can work together, play together, learn together, want to be in school together, trying to create that hope that is the antidote to anxiety, that hope and transparency, which is the antidote to anxiety and to trauma. So that's why things like we have a mental health crisis right now. We had one before uh, COVID, but the um, isolation exacerbated it. And so that's why really being intentional about relationship building is really important. So I'll give you an example of one of the things we're doing in Medina, Ohio. It's simple, but it's pretty awesome. Um, a teacher came up with this idea where she has had her students, seventh graders, read inspirational books. Some of them were about faith, some of them were about other things. And they connected to an adult in the school system last year, seventh and eighth graders. And so the adult read the same book, the kids read the same book, they talked to each other. And what's happening now is that it has rippled through this whole Medina school district, a rural, pretty conservative school district, really doing all the social emotional work. So as Others are saying, um, we, you know, we're getting rid of the anti-bullying. We, we don't want teachers to talk to each other or talk to kids about emotional work. Here you have this really conservative school district where they're doing it and called it the Confetti Project and they're reading books to each other and they're now doing it for the lower grades and they're about to do it for, um, um, uh, you know, for, for seniors. So that's why I'm saying relationships, um, recovery, uh, reading, taking any of the kind of things that give kids joy and trying to build them into schools, mm -hmm. soccer, um, extracurricular activities, um, project-based instruction. These are the kinds of things that teachers want to teach, students want to learn, but it's creating the community again and bringing parents and, and teachers in together to do that. 